Uh, yeah, you do have a lifeline. Uh, okay. Yeah. You can always call yeah. that wife of yours. Right. Dude, how funny would it be if you woke her up to ask her <laughs> this question? Yes? I feel like we're really on the show. Uh, can you come in here? I have a question for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Who wants to be a billionaire, guys? You want to play that game? <laughs> Is it billionaire now? Uh, billionaire? <laughs> billionaire. Who wants to be a billionaire? Uh, no, oh so obviously we all know the game Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's been on for a long time. We used to watch that show all the time with ding, Regis Philbin. Yeah, we all know the sounds. So we're just going to play uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We actually had a board game that had Who Wants to Be a Millionaire questions in them already uh, decked out. <laughs> no pun Get intended. it? Uh, so we're just going to ask those questions. A uh, very simple concept and uh, winner take all the millions. <laughs> oh! Go ahead, Cody, start us off. Remember, these are multiple choice A, B, C, and D. And just to note, this is the junior version of the game. Uh-huh. So if you do miss one, that's kind of embarrassing because this <laughs> is the junior version. <laughs> oh, yeah. Without that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First question. Uh, what was the occupation of Hansel and Gretel's father? A. Hold Wait, hold on. So, so people know we're doing it one. It's not like everyone chimes in, right? It's me, and then we're going around. Yes, the person who answers uh, will be to the left of the okay. person asking. <laughs> what was the occupation of Hansel and Gretel's father? A. Woodcutter. B. Farmer. C. Gold miner. D. Teacher. What, what, uh, A and B again? Oh my gosh, you're <laughs> already Woodcutter losing. And farmer. You're already losing at this game. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. I can, I can, I can see the sweat up. coming out of Josh's forehead. <laughs> Dude, this is... I didn't know Han- Hansel... Han- Hansel. I didn't know Hansel. Hansel and Gretel so had a father. Right I didn't hear that part of the story. How did you... I mean, uh, I'm sure yeah, they had the a father because they born, born, but... Um, Do you even have a father? So... I regret <laughs> playing this game. Just give up. So uh, hold on. So uh, 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 a uh, woodcutter. You got it. Really? Yep. Oh, I know. It's easy because I remember. Lucky guess. <laughs> Lucky guess. Lucky guess. All right. No, I, I, I use my uh, noggin. So Josh got that right? Yep. All right. Okay. He so Josh is uh, moving ahead. Right. All right. You so won right. 200 bucks. Joel. Huh? A paper I'm so stressed out right now. <laughs> a paper mache animal filled with toys and treats and hung up oh god really and hung up to be hit with this pinata <laughs> nope it's uh c pina colada <laughs> like pina colada how about you review hey, you know the what? question before you, you know ask what? it it's just pick the draw baby so pinata all right joel gets another point you know all right so joel what do you got for me what's my question uh, in the children's book series, where is Paddington Bear originally from? Is it A, India, B, Peru, C, Canada, D, Iceland? <laughs> Paddington Bear? Dude, Paddington just Bear? think about its origins. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows anything about Paddington Bear? It's a uh, movie. Yeah, I, I am aware. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I literally have no idea. I don't think it is. No, honestly, Dude, does anybody else here actually know the answer? Just think about the word padding, Paddington. <laughs> <laughs> Where do bears come from? Yeah, Indiana. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what, were the, it was, what was the last two options? Uh, like Canada and Iceland were the last two. I think it's one of those two. India okay. and Peru were the first two. I don't think it's those. Who's but heard of Paddington Bear? I have. You have? But I don't know where he's from. Crap about no bear. Uh, I'll say Canada. I have no idea. That sounds right. It's Peru. <laughs> Peru? Dude, yeah. that was so embarrassing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I got the most difficult question this whole day so far. All right, so I get zero points. Dude, where are bears native to? Yeah, Peru, obviously. <laughs> Stupid Paddington bear. What part of Peru? What the hell is a senator in Maine doing in, in Peru, Peru for? Peru. All right, so next question for Cody here. Which animal is not in the rhyme, hey diddle diddle? The cow, the cat, the little dog, the little pig. Pig. Think so, dude. Yep, pig. <laughs> Is that your final answer? There's no pig there. Wow. 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> are, you still, are you guys? Would you guys have gotten that? Uh, nope. I don't know actually. I have no idea what that. I, is. I think I think would have guessed pig. Actually, I probably would have guessed that one. All right. That that question for me out of my wheelhouse would have been the highest difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <here> you go. <laughs> Stupid Paddington Bear. <laughs> Let it go. It's so dumb. Wait, uh, what's the so we've got a full round? What's the score? Uh, you're all tied except for me. I know. Okay, next <laughs> next question. <laughs> Which of the following talk show hosts is known for top ten lists? A. Jay Leno. B. David Letterman. Huh? David Letterman. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> he stressed me out for a second. David Letterman. All right. Moving on. Josh. I, I didn't know that one. All right. Very apropos to something we were talking about earlier. Joel. Uh, is, <laughs> is, 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 is Dylan feeling okay? A, absolutely not. <laughs> B, no way. Uh, which of the following is a member of the X-Men? Wind, Storm, Rain, Twister. <laughs> Isn't? Is. No one knows what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is a member? Say them one more time. I just heard, I heard something. I did. I heard like one word. Oh, it rules. Or I, or I only read it once. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why? Why'd you age eighty? <laughs> oh, oh, you almost got it there. <laughs> Wind, storm. Rain Twister. Oh, Storm. Oh, the question was actually, what movie did Bill Pac- Pac-Man star in? <laughs> Bill Pac-Man star in. Bill Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Wasn't uh, it uh, Twister? Yeah. Yeah. Twister. Get it, Joe! Bill Forget Paxton. It. <laughs> What's his name? Paxton. Paxton. Yeah. He knows who he is. <laughs> All right, so we're, so instead of me instead of me reading the questions, uh, Cody, you just read the question to Dylan. Yes. For uh, yes, me. Yes. Okay. Yes. For Joel. Mm-hmm. Mm. Make sure it's a good one. I want this to count. Mm. All right. Which of the following is a type of pasta? Calamari, tortellini, double Dario, Connolly. <laughs> Jennifer Connolly? <laughs> uh, tortellini. <clears throat> you got it. Whoa! Oh! Uh, that's right. I'm on the scoreboard now. Don't you forget it. Uh, all right. So, Cody, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that. Switch off. Trade off. All right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> What's going to happen? Here we go. Which of the following actresses plays the title role on TV's Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Geller, Holly Marie Combs, Melissa Joan Hart. I thought it was Ally McBeal. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you mad? I thought The Simpsons was Family Guy. <laughs> Uh, what was A and B? A and B is Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Geller. Who oh, was C? Uh, Holly Marie Combs. <laughs> just uh, describing what she does. Holly Marie just Combs. Uh, Holly Marie Combs. Final answer? Yeah, sure. I don't know. That is not correct. The correct answer is Sarah Michelle Geller. F you! You didn't know who's in Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I never watched it. I uh, knew. Really? <laughs> That's where she got her start. That's what yeah. she's known for. Everybody's going to be like gasping, going, how do you guys do that? <laughs> You know what's funny? I, I'm actually way too familiar with that whole show because when I lived in Hollywood for the first time, I didn't have TV. Mm. And I just had uh, Jenny's DVDs that she gave me at the time. And I watched a, every season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Wow. Right. And she always wore short skirts with high, high boots. And I liked it very much. And I liked to watch that show a lot. <laughs> Grief. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, Calm please. Calm down, would you please? Okay, now so this. We're, so we're going up to what, like a thousand or something? A thousand. Now? Yeah, going up to a oh, thousand. Oh, I don't. That's, that's too hard. I want to go down. <sighs> okay, get it. Save it for later. All right, let's just do this one. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if I like that. Finish the title of the second book in the Captain Underpants series. <laughs> the Attack of the. Cotton mouths? Cotton moths, not cotton mouths. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty dark book. Attack of the Poisonous Snakes. Uh, Indigenous to Death Valley. Finish the title of the second book in the Captain Underpants series, The Attack of the Cotton Moths, Talking Toilets, Blue Boxers, 
elastic bands. Elastic bands. You you have your lifelines. Nope. It is talking toilets. Josh, come on. Boo. Did you guys know that? What? Huh? I didn't know that. I wouldn't have got that. Yes, Never even Welcome yeah. to the patenting what, what, bear rule. What questions did you pass up <laughs> for that one? <laughs> I, Jerk. I passed up. What does the Spanish word salsa mean in English? <laughs> Dude, I'm backed up. <laughs> Dude, I'm back. <laughs> Dude, I'm backed up. Okay, well, Josh got that wrong. What an idiot. Oh. Welcome to the Losers Club. I can hear Fool. you. All right. Fool. Here we go. Uh, who got married in the final episode of TV's Beverly Hills 90210? Uh, now, this is one of those questions where if there's anyone out there listening, <laughs> someone's screaming. <laughs> yeah. Joel, you do That's have lifelines. Uh, yeah, you do have a lifeline. Uh, okay. And, and well, we said it couldn't be in the room, but technically she's not in the room and... Yeah, you can always call yeah. that wife of yours. Right. Dude, how funny would it be if you woke her up to ask her <laughs> this question? All right, so not that it helps. Here are your options. Kelly and Brandon, Valerie and Dylan. Oh, my God. Oh, Dylan's I love so that. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Donna and David. Wow. <laughs> Brenda and Steve. <laughs> can you believe Brenda and Steve? Dave. I don't know any of these people. Uh, uh yeah. Um, <laughs> the final answer? Dude, I know 210. Yeah, come on. I'm going to save my lifeline oh, for now. Yeah. You're going to save it? How long do you think we got? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're at least another two hours. But, uh, I'm going to go with whoever the hell you said for A. Kelly and Brandon. Yeah. Dude, it was Donna and David. <laughs> <laughs> embarrass yourself, you no. idiot. <laughs> this game <Yep>. sucks. <laughs> you know, this is what it was like when you got Paddington the Bear. You know? <laughs> Dude, if you bring it up one more time. <laughs> that stupid freaking bear, man. All right. It's obviously from Peru. All right, ask me, ask me a question. All right, I'll ask it. Where will you not find palm trees? The South Pacific. The South Pole, South Carolina, South America. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> question. I'm gonna go with the old pole. <laughs> I saw an old pole once. <laughs> I like it. I'm getting my revenge. I like Jeez, this a lot. Giving him free points. This is. I just don't understand the the um, the consistency the, of this. Yeah, <laughs> behind the difficulty levels. Who knows? It's all yeah. over the place. Yeah. All right. I gotta ask Cody a question. Here we go. All right. What does the ASPCA do? Prints money, certifies doctors, publishes music, protects animals. Uh, doctors. Final answer. Yeah. Not correct. Darn it! Music. They protect animals. Oh, okay. Animals who make music. What? The animals you guys are slipping. Mainly, wal- <laughs> mainly, mainly, mainly walrus. Hey, again, you guys need to start using your lifelines. <laughs> I mean, jeez Louise. What, we got ten hours. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Where would a curator be on the payroll? The kennel, hog farm, hospital, museum. Uh, this is an easy one, but the way that question was worded was really strange. <laughs> Museum. Oh my god! <laughs> got it. Oh my god! Where would it be on the payroll? What a weird. <laughs> <laughs> what would be on a curator's tax return? For? <laughs> How about just where he works, jackass? <laughs> uh, okay. All right, this one's a kind of a this, well, this one's kind of a humdinger. All right, <laughs> I like me a humdinger. More of a dumb hanger, but all right. What does the word dinosaur mean? Does it mean hungry giant, terrible lizard, <laughs> big scary Bubba, <laughs> unlovable one? <laughs> 
Wow. I, it sounds like I made those last two up, but that is what the car says. <laughs> Big scary Bubba. <laughs> what does the word dinosaur mean? Yes, eh? Uh, it's obviously Big Scary Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, what, what were the, repeat the first two again. Hungry Giant, Terrible Lizard. <laughs> but then gonna... again, Big Scary Bubba, an unlovable one. <laughs> now I know why my dad was always calling me a dinosaur. <laughs> yes, eh? Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know between those two, but A sounds more correct. Final answer. Final answer. I have a feeling it's B, and it is. Shoot. Oh, okay. Darn. You are really gone. For real. For real. That, I feel like this person was intentionally being funny. Un- <laughs> unlovable one. Unlovable Like one. the first person to find dinosaur bones. Like, <laughs> no one, no one would ever love you. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> this, these questions are so weird. What, uh, what does a beaver call home sweet home? Burrow? Duplex, Warren Lodge. <laughs> Call Warren my. <laughs> um, I don't know if Burrow is right. This is a beaver we're talking about here. I'm gonna use one of my lifelines. I want to take away two of the answers. Can, can I can I use a lifeline to take away two of the answers? It's all for that. So you tell me which one's the correct one, and you also give me another one that's oh, could also be the, the correct one. Okay. All right. It's either burrow or lodge. <laughs> yeah. That's when you're watching at home. You're like, oh come on. You're like which one is it? Uh, yeah, it was obviously between those two. Uh, I know. Idiot. Well, it's not. <laughs> Hey, look at that beaver scurrying to its duplex. <laughs> Freaking rich <laughs> beaver. <laughs> Uppity bastard. <laughs> trendy whore. He doesn't need that car. <laughs> trendy whore. That beaver's a trendy uh, whore. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Burrow. <laughs> Was it Lodge? Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. The hell is wrong with you? It's, well, it's you know it's gonna be wood. You know, I, I figured that, but I'm like, a Lodge seems like it's too obvious. Yeah, answer. it does kind close, of well, close to a yeah. It sounds yeah. like a duplex. Right, yeah, close it, to duplex. It seems like it, it seems like I'd rather get yeah yeah, yeah, yeah wrong yeah, than yeah, yeah, yeah. Lodge wrong. Yeah, because you're right. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in a lodge. This is yeah. a judgmental yeah. game. Oh man, All right. that's funny. You asked me. That's questions. a that's a question. <laughs> <laughs> I need the lifeline for that and everything. Uh, okay. What's not another name for a mountain lion? Catamount, cougar, cottontail, puma. First one. Uh, the the catamount. Mm-hmm. That is incorrect. Cottontail. Cottontail. Uh, oh yeah, that's a rabbit. Yeah. Uh-huh. See, yes. I'm because you're just you're. A, you're I'm moving too fast. Yeah, you're a gunslinger over here. You're yeah. just catamount. But but to be honest, catamount does not sound. Yeah. <laughs> Who says catamount? It's literally like a like a. You're just mixing up the letters of the mountain. I don't know. Anyways, what the suck is going on. Who the suck is going on? Uh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, what did Dad Mike Brady do for a living on the Brady Bunch? Arctic. <laughs> really? You knew. You- you What's that? wrong with you? <laughs> you watched a lot of the Brady Bunch, did yeah, you? Yeah, he did. Next, next question, please. <laughs> I guess you were pretty <laughs> good at the Brady Bunch. You know what? Bunch. Honestly, that that that's one of those like I wouldn't have gotten. That. No, that's one of those weird like subconscious synapses just happened to just fart that out at the right time because I never watched Brady Bunch, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know why I knew for certain it was Arctic. That's weird. Yeah, no, I I swear to God, I never remember watching the Brady Bunch. You cheated. You saw the card before. No, I didn't. Did. Uh, no, freaking liar. Uh, I just swear to God. I you just but love for, the But for whatever reason, I knew that was the answer. I don't know why. <laughs> that was weird, though. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I feel guilty skipping too many because I feel like then I'm, I'm stacking the deck, pun intended. But this one might be just as easy. Uh, what was Jeffrey's job on TV's The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? 
Was he a rapper, a butler, a lawyer, or a student? Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I know this one. Know this one. Uh, take away two of those answers, will, will you? <clears throat> All right. It's either going to be a lawyer or a butler. Was Jeffrey the butler? Going with butler. Yep. Dang it, Joel. You weren't supposed to get that one right. Done good. Yeah. We couldn't have gotten that one. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I get the ones I know? Right, give me one. Give uh, me one that I'll know. Stop giving me these TV ones from the freaking 80s and 90s. <laughs> um, what is a... That is weird. What is a double bass? Or it's spelled B-A-S-S. So I guess you could... Double bass? I, well, you, it's, I, apparently it thinks you might pronounce it that way because the first option is overweight fish mm-hmm. baseball play musical instrument pair of shoes I feel like it's either B or C uh, you already used that lifeline a, du- a double double bass I can uh, or a double bass I can uh, ask the audience here I can ask uh, Cody and Joel what do you guys think it is I think it's C uh, and I don't know why. <laughs> what was that one? That was the, uh... Musical instrument. Uh, Cody, what do you think yeah, it is? And Joel sounds real <coughs> confident. I would say a musical <laughs> instrument. Double bass? Yeah, I'll say it's the musical instrument. I believe you are right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It was a, uh... You don't say, like, you get to two basses. You say it's a double play. Yeah. Now, let me ask you guys, no. what mm-hmm. instrument is that? Two bass hit, I mean. The double bass? Yeah. Double bass. It's not it's where you a put a bass on top of a bass. You play it. See, Joel knows. They're stacked. No, <laughs> see, see, uh, it's confusing because you would think a bass guitar, but double bass is a drum set when you have two bass pedals, so you have two big old bass drums on the floor. Used a lot in uh, heavy metal. Okay, here we go. In The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, what food does the Ice Queen use to lure Edmund into her sleigh? Is it, Ooh, is it, I know that one. Is it Turkish Delight, Tuna Surprise, Hot Chocolate, or Chopped Liver? <laughs> Sounds like all euphemisms. Turkish Delight. Is that your final answer? Are you going to a trance to find that one? Yeah. You have your lifelines. Uh, Joe, what do you think it is? <laughs> it's Turkish Delight faux show. Dang it. I use it for no reason. Yeah, I got you to use it for no reason, didn't I? <laughs> I'm going to kill you after this podcast. Video <laughs> games got me all violent. <laughs> the influence. It's all those violent films. You know what? Violent films. <laughs> now you're not going to be a millionaire because of me. <laughs> all right, we're going to right. get to the really hard questions. Now. Okay. Yeah, all get, right. all, get all hard Here we on go. Us. Where was the Great Potato Famine? Idaho, Hungary, Ireland, Poland. Yeah, well, where was Paddington from? <laughs> this one are, you, are, you, are you sure Peru's not on the list? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking bear from Peru. The Great Potato Famine. I, I am, uh, I am 99.9% sure, but it's here for the time. <laughs> Idaho, Hungary, Ireland, Hungary. Poland, Hungary. It's Ireland. Earl- it's Ireland. It's in Ireland. I don't even care no more. Very good. Ireland. How'd you know that? Uh, just, it's in the old noodle. <laughs> on the old noggin. The, the old scripture. potato famine. No, because it's like a, well, it's a cliche. That's all they eat there. And it, it like, a bunch of people died. <laughs> it's a huge, <laughs> huge thing. That's never <laughs> happened anywhere else. Uh, Josh right. loves him some potatoes. And some, I love my potato history. Uh, <laughs> all right, here's a, here, this, is like a, this is like a classic trivia question, Joel. I'm ready. I am so ready to answer He's pumped. This. What? <laughs> I'm so amped. <laughs> what body of water separates England from France? Is it the French Riviera, Riv- Riviera the English Channel, the Great Divide, or the Pacific Ocean? Help. Somebody help. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, Joel, help me. Cut to Joel. The Red Sea. Under his desk. 
<laughs> I regret doing this. What's uh, I can I can use one of my lifelines, right? Yeah, go for it. C can I call my wife in the room? Yeah. Yeah. Call your wife in the room. God, I wish. <laughs> Yes. I feel like we're really on the show. Uh, can you come in here? I have a question for you. <laughs> oh my god. Am I gonna be on? You're gonna be on. Wait, wait. She can just oh stay on the phone. No. She can just stay on the phone. We can hear. Or, 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 just... Well, you, you. If you're not, if you're not prepared, you can stay on the phone. That's fine. We can hear just fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You sound stressed. It's probably for. It's for the best. Okay. Like, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you guys, are you guys going through our time? <laughs> Alright, can, right. she, can she I'm gonna, hear- I'm, I'm gonna repeat the question, but Josh needs, a, needs, yeah. needs to ask what, you again. What body of water okay. separates England from France? What body of water separates England from France? I'll read them two at a time here. French Riviera, English Channel. French Riviera, or the English Channel. Or the Great Divide, or the Pacific Ocean. Or the Great Divide, or the Pacific Ocean. The English Channel. You sound so confident. She does. <laughs> Dude, that's I, my I'm my best guess. I'm so, okay. I am nerding out at how much if this feels like the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're going with we're going with the English Channel. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. She has to stay on the phone to see if she messed up or not. It is. She's right. Oh my right. gosh. Oh my god! <laughs> you did it. You just, you just get you just got me a thousand books. Oh yeah. man! A thousand Can I go books. Shopping? A thousand yeah. books. You All go. right, I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thank you. You gonna get you some. Bye. You gonna get you some. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> Something usually goes when the phone cuts out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, all right. Uh, Watch the following sold. Alaska to the U.S. Which of the following sold Alaska to the U.S.? France, Canada, Russia, England. Mm, These some good old-fashioned trivia you, questions. Is your dad up right now? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I have a pretty good idea. Uh, I feel like Canada is the obvious one, but I feel like uh, it's a little more complicated than that. I feel like it would probably be like, what were, what were the others? France, Canada, Russia, England. Uh, well, England didn't sell us nothing. We just took it from Except them. a bill of goods. Yeah. <laughs> bill of rights. Uh, they sold it to us. <laughs> I, feel like, I don't know if we would have bought from Russia. 40 bucks. <laughs> That was a lot back then. <laughs> what was the, the... There was Russia, England, Canada, and what else? France. France. Boy, France would own it. Uh, what? You know the answer to this? Uh, I could take an educated guess. I think he's just laughing at the idea of England selling us the Bill of Rights. <laughs> <laughs> For 40 bucks. Uh, uh, what, if I call, what if I call it decent? <laughs> She's like, you f***ing idiots. <laughs> you don't know anything about your history or geography? Yeah, stop calling me. Uh, I'm I, this Turkish delight. I don't know, and my lifeline wouldn't know that. Uh, uh, Dude, you, by the way, your lifeline can be anybody, but I guess... Yeah, at this hour. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say... 2 p.m., by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one's awake at 2 p.m. Uh, I'll say... France. That is a dumb <laughs> answer. <laughs> no, it's Russia. I was gonna guess Russia. Russia. I don't know. How was that? I just felt like we wouldn't have traded with Russia. We like, didn't. We purchased. <laughs> well, that's what trade <laughs> is. It's going back in time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can, Lucy. I can take you there. <laughs> All right. So give me that. <laughs> Just like well, Lucy, it's these dumb Paddington questions. <laughs> <laughs> I like how any hard question from it's now always on, back the Paddington question. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So here we go. In a standard game of checkers, with how many pieces does each side start? Eight, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Full blown stroke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go with 11. You going with 11? Yeah. I can't tell if that's a guess or educated or... Not educated. <laughs> Not educated. 12. <laughs> it's it's, it's close. gotta be 12, they're even. Yeah, it was yeah. just, that's... You're a I can't picture the board in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> you were trying, that's when you are doing this. Yeah. <laughs> you're using the power of the force. Uh, I don't know if that was a force. Uh, it was, it I, was a force I, I am not it. doing well. I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm a roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Which is the only chess piece that may jump another piece? Knight, queen, king, castle. Queen. Wrong. Wrong. Knight. Knight. I've never, I literally have never played chess. You embarrassed me! Oh, you should have played because you would have got that. What? Oh my what? god, you're right. <laughs> Dude, that was a that was a bird that someone stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was a, that was an autistic bird that someone stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> or it's pure demon possession. <laughs> or it's One period is demon possessed. <laughs> um, the demon on his period. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Talk about talk about aggravated. Yeah. <laughs> Just basically Hellboy. <laughs> what? Don't tell him that. Uh, what toy gets its name from the sound it makes when it is caught? Wham, Koosh, Splat, Frisbee. Koosh. That was a weird mix of Anger and confusion and confidence. <laughs> yep, that, that, that's sure. accurate. <laughs> Quiche. Final answer? Yes. Yep. I, was fr- I know I know Frisbee is was a like a pie pan. Really? Yeah. Well that and like when when I when I imagine someone catching a frisbee, it's not Yeah. Frisbee! Frisbee! <laughs> <laughs> well I thought Splat was definitely the one, like Splat. Yeah, I that would have been mine, I guess. Yeah, because sure. co- co- I guess Koosh. What is it? What is a splat? I, I just didn't recognize what splat was. I, I know it was like a anything. goop it's just, thing. It's just like a. Yeah, I just splat. know a Koosh ball. That's all I know. Yeah, I know but, that. Yeah, but it's like that's not really. It doesn't intuitive. make that sound. Yeah. That, oh, Koosh, I got it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it makes a Koosh. Actually, now that you say it, <laughs> now, now that you say it like that, I do say that every time. Koosh! Oh, Koosh, I got it. Oh, Koosh, Al Qaeda. That's. What are you, Bush? That's what I exclaim anytime I, I'm being terrorized by a terrorist. Oh, Koosh, Al Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this isn't 2004. <laughs> that sounds like Scooby Doo like team getting yeah. caught. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm just looking at my business card. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> they spelled my name right. My headshot's pretty good. Yeah. Which of the following is a creature in the Pokemon universe? <laughs> Zanzibar. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> is it really? Oh. Salamander. Chewbacca. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Charmander. Alligator. Charmander. Easy. No, you should be easy one. For that. I know my. Shit. I know my Pokemon like the back of my hand. Stupid Paddington Bear. <laughs> <laughs> that Pokemon I know it's good for it's gonna know the back of my. Uh yeah, give that to me. Maybe I can get two points by now. I think I got one question right this whole thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. In the book of the same name, who is the uncle that Heidi is sent to live with? Rocky. <laughs> Alm, Alp, Peter. The hell what? is this? I don't even understand the question. <laughs> In the book of the same name, who is the uncle that Heidi is sent to live with? Rocky, Alm, A L M, Alm, Alp, Peter. Good, good, good. I don't know what this question is, but. <laughs> Peru. <laughs> Peru. Yeah. Canada. Russia. <laughs> uh. Alp. <laughs> That's correct, actually. All right. <laughs> All right. You really earned that one. <laughs> Alp. That is sure. correct. Stab in the dark. He got it, boys. It worked. H- have Joel, have you even heard of that? What nope. that is? I have yeah. never heard of that. Neither have I. That was a lucky stab in the dark. That's, that's the officially gun. the hardest question we've got. <laughs> <laughs> what is put into Digimons that makes them so nasty? <laughs> I'm... I'm proud to not know this one. Slime, itchy shorts, 
Black Gears Short Waves. You can ask the audience. Hold on, I'm seeing if there's any way I can intuit the answer. So, so, di di Digimon. Digimons. <laughs> like, di like Digimon. Slap on the bass, Digimon. Yeah, Jamaican. <laughs> I believe it's a Pokemon. Is that right? It's like a spinoff of like a, or it's not like a spinoff, but it's a. It's like what Family Guy is in Simpsons. It's like yeah. a similar right thing. Right by the beach. Digimon. What, what's, what puts the Digimons? What makes them so nasty? What sticks in their craw? The digital options? monsters. Slime, itchy shorts, black gears, short waves. Uh, I'm asking the audience. <laughs> what are the options again? <clears throat> I wasn't listening. Slime, itchy <laughs> shorts, black gears, short waves. I say slime. Joel? Uh... Yeah. Jeez. No, don't even bother. <laughs> slime. What did you say? Make it easy slime. for you. Itchy shorts? No, I did slime. Is it slime? I don't know. <laughs> Joel, if you could just go ahead and give me the answer. <laughs> go ahead. All right. <laughs> I want to say short waves for some reason. But I'm going to go with slime. You're wrong. Black. Years. See, you know what? I thought that one was so random. The hell is wrong with <laughs> and you? And are they actually like digital something? That's what Digimon means? Yeah. Because then Black Gears kind of made sense, anyways. Something like that. Something or rather. Ugh. <laughs> in what? So this is the first one. Uh, in, and it's a $500 one. I don't know if that makes a difference. Should I? Nah, that's no, that's fine. Okay. In what book? <clears throat> <clears throat> do rat, mole, toad, and badger appear? Stuart Little. The Godfather. Mm -hmm. The Wind in the Willows. Charlotte's Web. Interesting. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna go with... Uh, Wind in the Willows. <laughs> Whoa. NPR. Yeah. That was NPR mixed with Jack Nicholson. <laughs> wind in the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with the Wind in the Willows. Uh, all right. And you, my friend, are... Right, right, right. Whoa. Good job, that? Joel. Good job, Joel. Somewhere in my subconscious told me. I would have said Charlotte's Web. I, uh, I would have, too. I probably would have, too, yeah. Wind of the Willows. <laughs> what a dumb piece of crap. <laughs> Never seen Dylan so perturbed. Uh, <clears throat> Let's get this. We make it work. Make it work, boys. What animal does the little prince ask for a drawing of? Toad, bunny, bee, lamb. <laughs> That's my game show, boys. <laughs> That's my game show, boys. Works for me. Um, okay, so wait. What are the... What animal does the little prince ask for a drawing of? Toad, bunny, bee, lamb. Bee's not an animal. It's also uh, option C. Yeah. Get uh, it? I'm going to go with lamb. Lamb. Final answer. Final answer. You're right. Yeah. After all that, you After got it all right. That. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be the last Round. question. Oh, okay, good. Right. I have a chance to get three points in this game. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, what a shocker. He gets a point, and all, right. all of a sudden, it's the last question. All right. Here we go. Bip -bip that's, that's what I've, was get, that's what I always <laughs> well said. Yep. Will Smith said, Switzerland is well known for making which of the following time telling devices? Watches, sundials, egg timers, VCRs. VCRs, you know. <laughs> yeah. Wait, there no through those again? Watches, sundials, egg timers, VCRs. Watches. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make it watches, huh? You ever had a Swiss watch? Yeah. yeah. You ever had a Swiss VCR? <laughs> <laughs> they made the best. 
<laughs> that is correct. You can tell time by it. Yeah. You got that one right. Yeah, not, I don't look so bad now. Yeah, you got some As bad. Correct. Well, TBD. Mm, yeah. TB, t, t, t. And BRB. You have, uh, you have TB. And VCR. You and have VCR. some TB syndromes. Uh, VCRs. <laughs> Man, nothing like a fine Swiss made VCR. All right, so there is a winner. I would. Oh, I guess it could be tied, yeah. So here we go. There is a winner. So in last place. Me. Cody. Yep. Uh, uh, I felt it in my bones. In last place, it was Cody. I lost my. Uh, hold on. I so. Recount. So there is a tie for second. So I'll just basically say that the winner is. <clears throat> Joel. Oh! <laughs> I thought for sure. You did lose in that last question. I did. That stupid, what question was it? Digimon. Digimon. I don't know what makes Digimon mad. But you know, you know what? You'll never forget the answer. Black Gears. Man. I don't even remember the question. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? So Joel's a millionaire now. Look at him. I go. studied so hard. For Joel, that. what are you going to do with all your millions? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to spend it on going to Peru and finding that bear. Yeah, <laughs> dang patty <Paddington> bear, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> only is he from there, he's the only one of the kind. <laughs> Uh, yes. Well, anyway, if you guys enjoyed uh, watching us be like idiots on this show, uh, <laughs> you should subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, check us out on SoundCloud, iTunes, <laughs> and uh, dude, I love I love Johnny Five Cousins. <laughs> Whoa, brought me back. Yeah. Uh, but we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out there and come back for more episodes. Every week, we keep making these good things, and <laughs> people keep watching and listening to these things. So. Uh, you should be part of the group, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>